We're hanging in the deep south. We did New York. We're going up through the wind west. Ended up Chicago, the windy city, to blow your wig back. Get ready. Here it comes. Here we are in North Carolina. Is that where we are, Mark? We are, Western North Carolina, which is sort of unlike the rest of the state. It's got a history of chill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there's one thing to take away from Asheville, it's we have a history of chill. I have played with Rodriguez before, Light in the Attic. Uh, the Rodriguez? The oh, Rodriguez. And Rodriguez is the coolest. Yeah. You chilled with him? No. Yeah. He's a fucking deep dude. He is deep. Heavy vibes. Do you smoke weed? We're here in Asheville, North Carolina, talking to Gray Cartwright, The Oblivions, Raining Sound, and numerous other great bands. My grandmother loved to go to, to thrift stores and yard sales on the weekend. That's what we, that was like her routine. We'd get up super mm -hmm. early and hit all these places and she would give me like a quarter or 50 cents to spend on toys or kids books and then as I got a little bit older by the time I was like 11 or 12 I didn't want toys anymore and I was looking for records. First couple years I lived here I'm hitting all the thrift stores I'm looking for weird records and the one thing that started to reappear to me more and more was like weird Christian psych records from the late 60s, Jeez, early 70s. Very big here. You find them like crazy. I'm pulling out records at random. Great Cartwright's stacks. What is it? The Misunderstood. They were an American garage psych band, but they all like picked up and moved to England. It's like, we're not just gonna like be in a garage band and play kink songs in like some <laughs> suburb of Chicago. We're gonna move to yeah, England. <laughs> We're here at Horizon Records in Greenville, South Carolina, hanging with Gene. Horizon, one of the last old school, beautiful record stores, wood, records, DVDs, crap everywhere, in the best sense of the word. Crap everywhere. <laughs> when it came time to start my store in 1975, we've been open 38 years. I didn't want to be Gene's record corner or music mart or any of that kind of BS, so we were Horizon Records, the one with the sun, and uh, that's who we are. I'm telling you, you know, it's like an old tie. Comes back around, or as I like to say, a broken clock is always right twice a day, you know? We're here at Criminal Records in Atlanta, Georgia with Jared from the Black Lips. Well, we are the, Atlanta is the only city in the United States of America, and I'm not including Pearl Harbor, because uh, that's not a city, that's a, that was raised in a war. What's some Atlanta buried treasure? Musically, I would say the mighty Hannibal. He's my mentor. He was a soul singer. He came up with like James Brown and Lil Richard and uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips. And actually, his first band was the, a band called the Overalls, but that was the Pips before they were Gladys Knight. But he kind of got brushed under the rug. He sold a lot of records, but that was back when Southern stuff. And that's kind of how hip hop was too when it was all regional. Like he'd sell a million records, but just between like Alabama, South Carolina, and Georgia. But he got blacklisted from the radio and he got really heavily involved in the Black Panthers and Nation of Islam. So they were just like, fuck this guy. Like there's plenty of other people we can put on the radio that, that there's too much trouble. So yeah. Norton Records, which is one of my favorite record labels, kind of reissued all of his stuff and he kind of had a comeback. Three, two, one, we're going clockwise. Three, two, one. Well, hello. Hi. Is this light? Is it oppressive? This woman, she lives in a small French village, and she sold me this book uh, this weekend. It was, it was 50 cents, and she said that it was a relative of hers who made it when he was 15, and it's in, in, in the late 60s. It's called Psych. And it is literally a psychedelic journal of a 15 year old in 1968. And this is a first page which is titled Black Spot. I mean like, are these 
bacteria that exists within French cheeses. It's fall, and so I'm going to start with some fall classics. These are records that I always listen to in October. The Feelies, The Good Earth. They're even standing in a harvest field. Oh, like here, let's just stand among these dead leaves in this fall autumnal landscape. The Feelies are a great band, and this is their best record, absolutely. It's also the best road trip record ever made, I think, personally.